Well, hello and welcome, people of the internet, to another adventure. My name is Ganians, and today we're checking out Forgotten Minds, a brand new tactics roguelike that's coming out, should be today, I should be releasing on the day it comes out. I believe it's coming out in early access. Uh, I can't confirm or deny that. I haven't found it anywhere online. I'm just going off the demo version. Uh, the demo version is currently 0.6, so I'm guessing it's going to be early access. Can't say for certain, but link will be down below in the description if you want to check out the game for yourself, either the demo, full version, early access, what have you. So, Forgotten Minds is a tactics roguelike, kind of in the similar vein of Final Fantasy Tactics or Tactics or Re Reborn. Excuse me. We're going to be building a team of three units of either a dwarf, elf, or human, a bunch of different classes to choose from, a bunch of different customizations to pick from, and a pretty sweet little uh, little run here. So let's go ahead and jump in. First thing what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to just pull up the tutorial. The tutorial, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like when games do this. It's kind of just like overwhelming info dump. I'm going to hold this up just for a few seconds. So if you guys want to pause, read it for yourself, you can go ahead and do that. I've already done all this. Um, that's probably going to be the easiest way, and that way we don't take up a bunch of time of the video actually reading all that. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and pause that. Now, at the beginning of each run, we're going to select our party here. We have three units. We can choose between Dwarf, Human, and Elf. As far as I can tell, there's no real... I mean, there's a little bit of stat differences, and you can see right here on the side. Elves study magic, so they're going to get a boost to any healing or damage spells. Dwarves are a little bit more resilient, and humans gain a little bit more XP. So... When we start out, we can also click on the character here. There are a ton of different classes. Look at all these. Now, we don't have access to all these. You do have to unlock these. These are typically, I mean, these are kind of the meta progression, if you will, of the game is unlocking heroes or unlocking different classes. And they are quite expensive. So it is going to take a little while to get exactly what you want. So we have here, we have the champion, we have a knight. You kind of, well, the champion, I think, is one that you don't start with. I think we start with originally knight, white mage, and sniper. When you go through the quote-unquote tutorial, which is actually a level that you're just designed to lose, you get to pick one. I could have picked berserker. I think I could have picked, what else could I have picked? Champion was the one I did pick. I don't remember. I think it might have been thief was an option. So you do get one free unlock. Had I known that there was already a knight, I probably wouldn't have picked champion. I would have gone berserker, but hey, we live and we learn. So I'm going to end up going with the champion here. The champion likes a sword. He's good with heavy armor. Now, every time you start a run, each of these classes are going to get a different buff and debuff. So for example, the champion here has plus three heal. Now, I don't know for certain if that's receive three heal or if he does an additional three heal, but he also is a mere farmer until last month. So he only has minus three magic, which isn't really going to affect our champion here. He's a melee hero anyway. Uh, we also have the knight here. So he has an energetic personality. So he gets an additional move, which is actually pretty good. A lot of the armor, uh, a lot of the armor that we're going to get for classes is going to slow down movement. So that might be actually what we want to do. Now he's going to lose a little bit of crit, but I think that's overall going to be better than our champion. So we're actually going to go with a knight here and I'm going to go with the dwarf because we get damage reduction. We obviously want a white mage, so and I don't think there's any way to change the actual face of your character. I don't. Th I think it just changes per every run. Let's see here. So the only healer we have is the white mage. So regardless of what the bonuses and debuffs are, minus one move, not going to be the worst thing in the in the world. Plus two attack, not a very good buff. And then we have. I'm going to do human sniper, so that way he gets a little bit more experience. Increase uh, inspired by tails passed down, so extra attack less move and that is not going to be huge on the sniper we'll see that in a little bit you also can choose your amulets before each run uh you get one free amulet at the start that you can permanently unlock of course i took grants 30 ingots actually not super strong the one that i found to be the most strong is actually increased damage dealt to goblins there's a lot of goblins on the first floor and so that helps out a lot now how do the runs actually work the runs are split up in terms of i think i believe it's four areas five fights per area so you can look down here in the bottom right we're in the verdant halls there are five rooms that we're going to have to fight through so you can see here this is empty which means it's a fight the next one is an e it will be an event then a fight then a shop then two fights i don't remember what b is i don't think it's it should be boss well actually no the last fight is a boss so i don't remember what the b actually is it might just be like a heal we have all our stats up here on the top left we're going to start by putting our units down here. So I'm obviously going to put our knight up front. Then we select our mage. I'll put our mage in the back. And then I'll put our sniper down here at the bottom. And we start battle. 
Now, if you've played any kind of tactics games, you're going to be very familiar here. We have our action points down here. Each character has their own different amount of action points. Those can change over the course of run, either through equipment, through leveling up, I believe. Um, each action is going to take an amount of action points. So you can see here the sniper actually has a sidestep ability, which allows him to move horizontally. Cannot use it to go vertically, mind you. But it doesn't cost any AP. The cost increases, though, when used and resets on a new turn. So we can use it once for free. The next one will cost one. Next one costs two, but we can't do that. So every turn, we have one free sidestep, which is super nice. Our white mage here has a strike, which just does attack damage and a heal. And then we have our knight, which does a slash and protect, which blocks the next physical hit. We have all our stats here. So we have attack, which is obviously how much attack you do. Defense, how much you defend. Magic power, how much your units move per action point. I should point that out. So our knight can move three spaces twice because we have two action points, amount of crit, and amount of heal power. You have your inventory. You will be able to unlock items as you go, like with all these chests. There's also shops and stuff you can buy, which we will put up here, and then we can drag them around here. We also have traits and perks, which we'll be able to unlock. Basically, once we get a level up, we will get the option of a couple perks. We can select one, and it will just kind of keep going through, and we'll get more as we level up. So, that's a whole lot of info. One more thing, we have fatigue points. There are skills that you can get that are a lot stronger than your typical skills, but once you use them, you get a fatigue point, which is going to make those skills cost one more every time you want to use them, and it just increases. So if it costs one, you use it, you get a fatigue point. The next time you want to cast it, it will cost two. You use it, the next time you cast it, it will cost three, and so on. And that counts for every fatigue spell. So if our knight here has two different fatigue spells, they'll each have this penalty on them. Now we can go ahead and <laughs> jump into the fight. That's a big old dump there. But let's go ahead and we can just click on a unit to slash. We get XP for killing and we also get a little bit of XP for damage. So what I've found is it is a little bit difficult. You kind of want to have your units be damaged a little bit. Because typically your white mage isn't going to be getting into the, into the skirmish, right? You, you don't really want them to be getting into a fight. I'm going to kind of see if I can just bring them up. Snipers have unlimited range. We can shoot as far as we want. So we kind of want our units to be damaged because the white mage is going to get experience based off healing. And we can't heal someone if they're full health. So at some point here, we're going to want to get our units damaged here. I think I'm just actually going to... Actually, I can't run up there. All of my movement actually really sucks. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's get a shot here. We have a key. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it there. Fortunately, yeah, I the goblin was gonna was gonna get that key, but that's fine. We get the kill here. Now, once we get the kill, the room is not over. So, if we look here on the right, we can see it says turn four out of eight. Technically, we have eight eight turns to to beat this floor. I'm gonna have let's see. So I'm gonna have my knight run up here and grab the key. Because we can hold on to keys between rooms. So basically what we can do here, once we get to turn 8, 8 is the last turn. Once we go one more turn, that's when reinforcements come. You do not want to be in the room when reinforcements come. <laughs> you have three different rounds of reinforcements that can come. You really don't want to be there on the last time. But I'm going to be honest, you don't even want to be there the first time they come. Because it's not fun. They are really tough to beat. There we go. So we got a new blue robe. An additional defense and more magic power plus ice resistance but this robe gives us two additional heal power so i'm just going to keep this one on we'll hold this here to sell at this point if i wanted to you know we could go around and we could mine a little bit of ore this is basically currency we're going to get some just for completing the room here so i'm just going to end the turn we'll go on to the next floor see here for your grade higher your grade better your spoils are we'll just continue on so now I believe there's going to be an event. Yeah. After reaching a small irregular cave, you notice a simple chest with an ordinary lock. All around, fungus and suspicious wafts of sulfur loom heavy. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a key. We don't have a thief in our party. And we don't have a character with 25 attack. So, unfortunately, we have to just ignore this. <laughs> Bit unfortunate event here right at the start. Had we not opened up that chest, we could have had a key and opened that up. But we obviously didn't know that was going to happen. All right, so now we have our second fight here. 
I think what I'm going to do... Let me think here. I think I'm going to put my, my knight over here. With my mage here. I'm going to put my sniper down here. Because we have this line of sight here. And I can just funnel units in. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and... Do I want to move you all the way up? I kind of just want to fight this unit. So, one thing you'll notice... This, for you guys who are just starting, if you do pick up this game for yourself, your unit selector down here is going to look a little bit different. So when you first encounter a unit, all of this info, health, strength, movement, defense, what it's weak to, what its skills are, what its loot is, this is all going to be question marks. So you basically have to discover what a unit is. I think you have to probably kill it before you actually get the stuff. You also have a a race indicator here. All that stuff will be hidden. Action points. That'll all be hidden. So you have to discover units before you actually know what they do. Uh, I think what I might do... I'm just going to move up one and I'm going to block the next physical attack. Because only one unit is going to be able to come here and attack me. And then our sniper, I'm just going to sit back here and just snipe whoever, whoever wants to come my way. And I think that's all I'm going to do here. Yeah, see, so he used two moves. He used two moves, and now he blocks off this way, so my knight is protected from being multi-stricken. Now, unfortunately, well, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to get my white mage in here to get the kill there. We can go ahead. I'm actually going to grab this helmet, which I am going to lose an attack on, but that's fine. It's going to give us an additional two defense. Uh, actually, we have a round shield? Okay. The, champ or the champion that I played with before did not have a, a shield there. So I'm going to put this helmet... Oh, I can't put it there. Can I put it there? Why can't I put it there? It says done. Oh, I might not be able to do it. I might be able to do it when I have actions. That might be what it's trying to tell me. Okay. And there is an auto turn. So if you have no more actions, it just ends the turn for you. Yeah, equip it. equipping might cost an action is what it's trying to tell me there. Okay, it does cost an action. Got it. Okay, but that's fine. We have our mage here. We can heal up. Go ahead, get our knight going. Okay, we got to level up with our knight. So, we can either get a heal from our knight, but we don't really have good heal power, or we could just get an additional 12 HP. We could also reroll. I kind of think I want to go for more damage, maybe. So, the thing is, I could go with the additional 12 health, but to be completely honest, the white mage's heal... A lot of times, if you get ganged up on, is not enough to keep you up. So the 12 health doesn't really matter. I think I'm just going to reroll this. Of course, we get more vitality. Start of each turn, you heal 10% of max HP. That's pretty decent. 6 HP to heal. Let's take that. That'll help alleviate some of the uh, the issues here with our white mage. Still going to hit stick right here. We're just going to go ahead and protect up. Go ahead and get another snipe here. Another snipe. We get a level up. More crit. Our crit is currently 10%, so that would give us 18. Or we could just take more damage. I think I'm just going to take more damage. Just get nice, consistent damage. Go ahead and heal up our sniper a little bit. Have our knight go ahead and take care of this gobbo. Still no keys. Really unfortunate here. And there we can go. Get some more. There we go. There's a key. All right. We'll pick that up. Now we'll go ahead and unlock this, see what we find. I think I'm going to have the knight just... I th so, I th I'm pretty sure that we can take... We can chop down chests. I know, So, I know for a fact that we can go ahead and do something like this. And we can spend time just breaking these apart, which gives us currency. I don't... I haven't figured out yet if you can actually do the same with chests. Well, that answers that. <laughs> that answers that. But again, we want to be careful. We don't want to make it past turn 8. Then we will be in big trouble. So we'll make our way up here. I'm going to try and chop into that. We're going to get a little bit extra gold here. So this is our last turn. Go ahead and collect the gold. Collect more ingots. Uh, I'm not going to be able to collect this. It's going to take too many attacks. So let's take a look here. Dark Oak Bow. Right, he's done. So we need to do this at a later date. And then what do we have here? Is this a shield? Magic Gauntlet. A shining magic imbued glove. 
Got it. So we can put it down here. So let's go ahead and do that since it's going to cost us an action. And we'll go to the next room. Fantastic. We got grade B. So the diamonds here, you might be asking why, why do we keep getting zero diamonds? Diamonds are basically your meta progression currency. This is what you're going to use to unlock more units in the future. Also unlock more amulets if you want to get them. And then the ingots and the gold ingots are used in shops during your run. So I believe the diamonds are found when you fight, when you do boss fights. That's the only time that I've found them. So I, I would assume that that would be the case. Let's see here. Well, we don't have a, no, we do have enough gold for this. We could grab a silver chain shirt, which gives an additional 10 health, six armor, uh, six defense, excuse me, and five crit, which is going to be really good on our knight here, actually. I think we're just going to go for that. We could also go for a purification wand, which gives us a cleanse, clears all debuffs. The only debuff that I've seen so far in the demo is burn, which is really annoying. Burn just kind of sits on you and does damage. Uh, and I think it's either it's like more effective if you have things like leather or robes or, you know, wooden shields, it's things that can burn. It seemed in the last couple couple rounds that I played that any any units that had that stuff tend to get burned more, not more often, but just for longer. So I'm going to here I'm going to take the silver chain shirt here. We're going to give it up to our boy here, get more HP, get more defense and just make him a big old chonker. I think I'm going to sell this blue robe. I mean, it's only going to give us one ingot. Now, we only have three inventory slots here, but that does not mean that those are the only slots we get. Those are the only slots you can see. So basically, the way it works is if you're in the middle of a floor, you have all three of these filled up, and then you pick something else up. Technically, it goes into like extra stash that you can't see. In order to access it, you would either need to drag this over and destroy the items, so that way they keep moving up until you can see the item you want, or you just got to wait till a shop and then sell until you can see it. So let's go ahead and take this. We can see it's going to give us more attack and more crit by the green arrows. Perfectly reasonable. And we're going to sell this bow because we don't need it anymore. We want to go with this. That's just more strength. I mean, we might as well. Technically, it's better. I guess it could technically help with uh, breaking stones, stuff like that. We'll sell that. Go to the next room. All right. Let's see. What do we want to do here? There's a decent choke point here, but then I'm going to get attacked from the back. So... Huh. So let's go. I'm going to put the knight in front of here and try and take out these guys. Now, I know, or I'm pretty sure, actually. Yeah, so these, so these goblin soldiers that are armored up are weak to piercing. So if I put our sniper over here, we can undo that. <laughs> we can choose. Let's see. We can put our, yeah, so we're putting our knight down here. We'll go ahead and put our mage back here and then our sniper over here. Our sniper can use this line here to take out these units. Now, unfortunately, they can move up on us, right? They have movement of two, so they'll be able to go in here and get a hit off. But we have our mage here to heal up. Yeah, so let's stick with this. Let's use this. Let's go ahead and take out this unit right here. Boom, get rid of the mage. We do have a robe here, but we're not going to be able to get it. I think this, this goblin is going to take it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our piercing damage. There we go. Big, big damage. Weaknesses are going to be huge to take advantage of. Now let's go ahead and get a heal here. We also have... Oh, we have push? Wait, where did, did that come from our... Where did push come from? Um, Where... Did it come from magic? Oh, it came from magic only. Okay, I didn't realize it was there. A telekinetic projectile that pushes the first target it hits. Oh, interesting. And it's free, but it has fatigue. Okay. Well, since I can't really do anything, I think I'm just going to sit here and start pounding away. Let's get a few more resources here. Yeah, we're going to take a shot to the back. But again, that's fine. We have a little bit more defense going. Okay. I am going to be able to move up and get this robe. Although, it's not really... It's not really probably going to be beneficial. Oh, it gives a little bit more movement. 
So it's less defense and less heal, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't really want to get rid of it. I obviously want you to heal more than I want you to move a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an attack off here. Now you, let's go take care of this unit. This is the tougher unit. We have a sword here, but I think it's the same sword. Yeah, it's the same sword we already have, so there's no real rush to go ahead and get that. Let's go ahead and throw off a heal. Might as well heal up our sniper a little bit, get him to full. There we go. Yep, we're going to take a little bit of damage. That's totally fine. Go ahead and get the kill here. Might as well pick that up. Again, might as well pick this up, get a shot off. Let's go ahead and heal. We'll heal the sniper. Get the kill there. Do I want to pick up? Might as well pick up the iron helmet. Like, why not? Man, I've never had a sniper that's this this poor movement. The one I had in the the previous, I played like the first two the first two. Uh, first two battles here my sniper had like three movements so it's super weird having one with basically nothing now we i think i'm just gonna come over here and just start hacking away at this trying to open it up we'll collect this i'll get a little bit of gold here we still have four four whole turns so there's pl plenty of time for us to collect a few more resources go ahead and grab this gold we will make our way up here and start shooting this chest hopefully we can open it What is that? I'm just going to get rid of the short bow. Obsidian Tiara. One strength and two defense. It's okay here. I'm actually going to swap it out there. Oh, I can't. Duh. That's fine. Go ahead and chop this. There... Oh, god dang it. I didn't know that that could happen. All right. Well, ma white mage, start making your way down. You're going to have to heal a little bit. And I need to kill this thing fast because I only have two turns. Oh, my god. He does so much damage. Okay. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. Not good situation. And my, my sniper can't, it can't hit it at all. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I should be able to kill it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What's he sitting at? Like one health? So, this is really bad. Because I can't, I can't, sh I can't shoot it. Yeah, we're we're going into reinforcement territory. Yeah, because then that happens. Because this stupid prick chest. Oh, good lord. Okay, well now we're probably just dead. Um, I have fought these reinforcements once before and they are not fun they they do a lot a lot of damage a lot of damage okay i'm gonna try though the problem is we only have four turns <laughs> and then more reinforcements come and then they just snowball yeah we're super dead god dang it man that's so stupid that's so stupid all right well yeah i didn't get any gems so we're just gonna abandon here i'm super dead yeah, I so I had no idea that that was going to be a mimic. So we're going to do the same thing. Night White Mage Sniper. Yeah, I had no idea that was going to be a mimic. So I got a little bit too too greedy. They were too, too greedy. Okay, we are completely boxed in here. That is interesting. Might as well do this because our sniper can hop over the water. And hopefully someone comes through this way. So, despite that chest looking like a, uh, a, a higher level chest, it is in fact not. 
That is unfortunate. Okay, sniper man, take him out. There we go. Let's get a little bit more damage going. Make our way up. What do we got here? A tiara, huh? Mmm. I don't know that it really helps anyone. Oh my god, we have minus one heal power. Dude, this setup sucks. This team sucks. Not as proficient as they claim. Well, that's just incredible. <laughs> it's just incredible. Okay. Okay. So, we are going to need to find some healing items. We had a good run going, and it was all screwed up by a stupid little mimic. Here we go. Go ahead and move you up a little bit. Yeah, our movement still sucks. I think that that I think that is one of the most interesting things about this game, though, is that like you you could so I I've played several other you know Final Fantasy Tactics style roguelikes in the past, and one of the things that we kind of always find is that the units themselves are usually pretty standard. So like it's a roguelike, but you're you're using basically the the roguelike element that you're continually changing over every run is just the different units but the fact that your units actually have a a random boon and burden to reference another video that just came out or is coming out um it, it makes the runs a little bit different right because now we have a healer who's not really a great healer now we could if we unlocked another healer we would be able to choose between the two, but right now we're stuck with this minus three heal, which is not great. Doesn't like to move. So, like, our sniper has more healing than our actual healer does, which is a little which is a little funky. Now we have more HP here, and we also have minus two attack. So literally, <laughs> literally all our units are just nerfed. <laughs> we're, we're just doing a challenge run here. That's, that's all we're doing. It's just a little challenge run. All right, let's go ahead and move up. Move up. Probably should have just... Got off. Of, actually, we're yeah, we're full heal. I couldn't have gotten off a of heal anyway. Okay, get a kill. We'll get a little bit of resources. Not gonna hit any funky looking chests. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Another chest that we can't open. I swear, this is not the only first event that you can run into. It's just the one that I keep running into. Nothing happened. Yeah, because we had nothing that we could use to unlock it. Let us see, let us see, let us see. What do we have next? Again, completely boxed in. Oh my gosh. So. I'm going to do something similar. I think I'm gonna do this. Try and try and block off them from going after my healer. But our sniper is good against these these units right here, and we can kind of try and chunk up here. Now, if I can level up our knight here, I think it might actually be a champion ability. I don't know. So, in terms of different attacks that we can get, I'm not sure if jobs of the same class get the same abilities because there is a sweep ability on the champion that allows us to hit these three squares that's absurdly powerful and I would like to obviously find that but we don't get that here I'm going to take the extra attack considering we lost some attack from our passive makes it a little bit stronger uh, yeah not quite strong enough to get a uh, two hit kill there well, while I got nothing to do, I'm just going to start collecting some gold. I do feel like the white mage should maybe have, you know, so traditionally in RPGs, white mages are like the dedicated healer, right? They are the, they are the optimal healer that only heals. I wish more games leaned into, now obviously we have the strike here, right? 
I wish RPGs started leaning a little bit more into the philosophy of Final Fantasy XIV's White Mage, where White Mages are your typical healer. They are like the, the go-to healer class that is just full-on super strong heals. But healers in Final Fantasy XIV in general do do damage so i kind of wish that they did that and just had a a range attack even if it's a weak range magic attack i wish more rpgs would just do that and give white mages something to do because if if especially if we can't heal units that are at full health so that way there's just something they can do rather than just sitting here bashing rocks so i'm gonna have to shoot this unit. oh boy oh boy this is this is not gonna be good this is not gonna be good let's get a little more damage off wow Oh my god, you did more damage than our sniper! What is up with that? Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of that unit. We found a key. Oh boy, our sniper goes down. Well, this is going to be interesting, because I'm going to be honest, I have no idea... I have no idea if this is if this game is permadeath. We're gonna find this out together. I'm really hoping it's not. I'm assuming they're just dead for this floor. Because I can't even imagine trying to go through three more floors of this with with only two with only two units. So there is permadeath. Are you joking me? Oh boy. Oh! Okay. Revolves the foul an ally with 50% max HP, but also poisoned. If more than one ally is dead, revives the first. Okay, so we have to buy revives. Yuck. That's gross. Okay. Let's go ahead. Two defense and two magic power. That doesn't really help anybody. Guess we'll just put that there. Iron sword. We already have an iron sword, so I can just sell this. Magical seals add poison to some of its shots. Shot the poison's the target. Well, we can't buy it anyway, which sucks. Unless I sell... Well, if I sell this, I can sell for two. Can I sell the key? No. That would be kind of stupid anyway. It sells for three. I need to get 16. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to do that. Hmm, that sucks. All right, let's go to the next room. So now we're poisoned. Now, I don't know how to get rid of I'm assuming poison will just wear off. I'm hoping. Until the end of battle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So. So, so, so. Put our melee down there. Let's put our mage up here. Let's put our sniper down here so that way they can't come in. Start battle. We're just going to chunk you. Grab the key before they take it. You're going to have to heal up our... Oh, boy. Yeah, you're going to have to heal up the sniper here. Come on. Can we get a crit? Dang, man. I think, I think we're going to... I think our unit's going to die here. 10%? No, so we're not dead. Okay. Jesus! I think we are screwed. So I'm going to heal here because I can kill this unit. And I can back away, so I'm not going to take damage from here. Have to kill off a unit here. Yeah, we're just barely hanging on. Of course, that happens. Again, yeah. So now, now we're kind of in this. We're kind of in this death spiral, right? Where this unit's gonna die. Basically, so if you, it's like one death, and then you just kind of spiral out of control. Get more attack. Hopefully, get this kill. There we go. The problem is I'm not going to have enough resources here to to buy a heal. Let's heal up. Heal up. 
grab the key. Next room. Another, <laughs> another chest. A small chamber cake with slime and smelling strangely of bay leaves. Small amber chest. Let's try to open it. Everyone present attempts to wrest open the chest to no avail. Well, that that was a great option considering we had a key and everything. So yeah, this is I, I'm gonna say right here, this is a death. <laughs> um Yeah, this is this is a big death. There's just gonna be nothing I can do here. Okay, well, I guess we'll we'll try this. But yeah, it, it it just feels like if one unit goes down, because like our healer is barely doing any heals. It, it's just not. Okay, we got to kill there. I mean, we can't we can't even heal one one attack worth of worth of damage. Okay, let's give this a shot. We're dead. We are super dead. There we go. That that's the last hit we're going to be able to withstand. Or not. Okay, somehow we're holding in there. The the problem here is even if I get this kill, he's going to blow me away with the the fire arrows he has. So, I might actually have to move here. Okay, that gives me another turn to heal. Because now I can get this kill. Move away a little bit. Right, this is the guy that does burn damage. Now, the problem... So I can do this for free. I can get two attacks here. Oh my god, can we get the kill? Oh my god, somehow, somehow, we got through that. All physical damage dealt is considered magical damage. Now we'll just take the extra move. Go to the next room. I don't know how we made it through that. Okay. Alright, well, we, lo we lose the boss battle. There there's no way we're making it through the boss battle. I mean, I will give it my best shot, but it's just, I'm telling you right now, it is not happening. What does this do? Immune to one hit KOs. Once slain, this unit heals all enemies in the room. 25% HP. Why can't I? Because I put them in the wrong place. Frick me, man. Okay, well, we can do this. We can shoot you. Fortunately, I had to move, so that means I don't get a heal. You paralyzed my unit. That's incredible. You moved in front of your ranger, buddy, so that gives me an extra shot. Fortunately, I think I'm paralyzed for two whole turns, though. I'm gonna have to slip over here so that way I don't get shot from the top. Okay, didn't know that was a thing you could do. That's the first time I've seen anybody attack over rocks. So yeah, we we are we are ultra ultra dead here. Unable to act. How, how many turns am I paralyzed? For two turns? That was longer than two turns. But, alright. Well, we're just going to proceed here. Unfortunately, that's how, that's how we're going to end here with that demo. So... I... That, that death mechanic is a little punishing. Again, so... Some things, some things to consider. Our healer there was really bad we we had a passive that actively reduced the amount of heals that were actually incoming so that was kind of a cursed run to begin with so if we look here we can look here at the upgrades here before we comment 
talk about the game itself. So we only have one crystal here. So we have all these different amulets that you can get, which are going to change, excuse me, which are going to change your runs, give you different buffs, stuff like that, du double damage to chest, stuff like that. A lot of these are not available in the demo version. We have the barracks. So this is where you're going to be able to select other units. So like for me, probably getting a cleric is going to be the best option. So that way, if one of our healers has a pretty bad passive, we can go with the other one. There are Barbarians here. Berserker was the other class that I could have chosen instead of Champion, which I, I probably would have taken had I known that I only got one free class. I didn't really understood. It basically said choose a class. It said choose a class to unlock, but I didn't know what class I had available. So that was the thing there. Um, Yeah, we got the Thief. We have a couple Guards here. Paladin would be pretty sweet to play. We have more Wizards. I have no idea what a green... Like, Blue Mage... Yeah. I don't know. I was going to say red mage is typically like in well in Final Fantasy is a melee magic mixed unit. I don't know what blue and green mage would be. We have heretics, so we have darker classes. There's your naturalists, monks and druids. I'm assuming these are kind of support classes, blacksmith and alchemist. Then you have some weird like abjurer, enchanter, time mage, gladiator, squire, inquisitor, battle mage, planeswalker, elementalist, blood mage, geomancer, sorcerer, and they are all heckin expensive and then there's this guild thing now unfortunately i can't access this because it's not in the demo version that i'm playing here but it looks like this might be more along the lines of what is typically meta progression right invest kingdom coins into different guilds to acquire new passive abilities growing in power as you invest further now this is also this is going to change your your gems into kingdom coins right so yeah, see, like, I can't... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, receive 5% XP. So this is, like, your traditional meta progression. However, I feel like most people will likely probably delve into this first, amulets next, and then finally guild. So it's not... I don't think it's super necessary to go into all this. Now, the death mechanic does is, a, is quite punishing, especially if you don't have a good healer. I was never in in the couple in the couple times I've played. I was never really able to build a great healer. It felt like all the the healers kind of fell behind, right? We could do massive damage with our damaging units, but for a class that is really only healing, it feels like the heals should be buffed a little bit because now granted that last time they were playing, we had that debuff on our healer, but even the first time, we still weren't out healing and attack. Like, it, we still didn't have enough heal to outpace just one attack. And if you get surrounded, you're you're just super dead. So, besides that, which you can almost... Basically, if you wanted to think about it this way, you could almost think of it this game as a permadeath game with a little bit of upside, as opposed to a game where your units always revive at the end of every fight. If that's how you wanted to think of it, that would probably be a more reasonable way to think of it. But other than that, I mean, the, the game is really sweet. I've been looking for a pretty decent Final Fantasy slash Tactics Ogre style roguelike to play because while I like the story element of those games, by the time your units are like built and fun to play with, the story's kind of done and there's nothing else to really do with them. I mean, Tactics Ogre has the, um, oh, what's it called? the hall of the dead that you can go through so there is there is technically something to do there but forgotten minds pretty sweet like i said comes out today i believe it's coming out in early access but i can't confirm or deny that uh or i can't conf basically i can't confirm it not saying i know and can't say just saying like i don't know what it is don't know how much it's going to be or anything like that so if you want to check it out for yourself link will be down below in the description if you guys like the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and, uh, of course, we do roguelikes, roguelites, deck and dice builders, tactical strategy games, auto battlers, and so much more. Guys, I've been Ganians. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time.